Some viewers may find this disturbing. Your discretion is advised. Hey my loves. Before I get to this video, I want to make sure to let you guys know the video is not clickbait at all. And I'm going to be fucking up my chocolate and vanilla ice cream with brownie bites while I explain to you guys every fucking thing. But, I'm not really going to be talking throughout the whole video. I'm going to be inserting vlog footage, my experience behind the scenes, people I met. And I also ran into a fucking couple channel that I actually talked about that didn't even recognize me. You know what I'm saying? We might come back and get some more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Yeah, wait. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, follow her, Keisha Kaylee, on YouTube. Yeah. You, you, you have your few more questions, alright? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, that's about it. That's it? Thank all you. Of her. Thank all you. Alright, take care of her. Alright, bye. Oh, shit. I fucking know them. I know them. I've talked mad shit about both of them. But anyway, that's besides the point. So, yes, I went to the Ace Family's charity basketball event. And a lot fucking happened. But quick disclaimer, I wanted to point out that I went for the sole purpose of seeing, you know, what they're gonna do and if they're gonna pull some fuck shit. I, I told a lot of people, I, I told I told a few people that I was going before I ended up going, and someone told me, nah, nothing's probably gonna happen. You're probably overthinking it. And I went and I was absolutely disgusted with a lot of the shit that was going on. And this is a serious video. I might be joking around a lot in this video, but this is serious. I'm going to be pointing out a lot of the fucked up shit that they're doing, and I'm going to be inserting my commentary every once in a while. So please stay tuned and enjoy the rest of this video, and I'll be back with my commentary. Hi, my loves. It's Destin Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. Now you saw that title, you saw that thumbnail, and you saw that dramatic ass intro. So long story short, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't fucking know this because a lot of y'all have been asking me, where you been? You haven't posted in four days. Where you been? We know you're not doing shit. Here's the twist. I'm in LA. And why am I in LA? I'm here because I'm ready to attend the Ace Family Charity Basketball event. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, crazy. I know some of y'all are thinking, you have no fucking life. Oh my God, you're such a stalker. I know, bitch. But I want views. I want the views. So, I'm going to go into the Ace Army Charity Basketball event to, you know, review it. Because last year, they pulled some fuck shit where they were supposed to give 100k. But they ended up giving, giving up 75k. And in case you didn't know, last year, I called them out for labeling their event charity. When in reality, they profited more than the actual charity. Game will receive a $100,000 check to donate to charity. Each player on that team will get a portion of the money to donate to their charity of choice. And guys, that's the best part about this event, is to be able to give back. To us, there's nothing better in the world than to give back. So with that being said, <laughs> Wow guys, this was truly a blessing tonight. made way more money off this event than what they were giving to charity. For one, it was a red flag when Austin said that he was giving 100 k That's amazing. That's great. You're giving $100,000. That's huge. But the fact that you're giving $100,000, but after the whole game was over, you can see on the check that the check only says 75000 And at this point, a lot of people were looking at them like, mm. The point of giving a charity is not getting something in return. Giving the charity is basically out of the kindness of your heart. Basically, y'all are giving charity $75,000, which by the way, you lied about because you said you were giving $100,000 away, but instead you gave $75,000 away. Okay, cool. You know, that's fine. You want to give the charity. That's dope. But don't sit up here and label your event, your event that you had and promoted and a whole bunch of other creators who were involved promoted and label it charity. $51,000 plus $32,000 plus $460,000. The answer is about $543,000 US dollars. Joanne the scammer is shook. Allegedly, of course, they ended up 
trying to debunk everything I said in one of their videos by trying to say, oh no, it's not true, we didn't profit more. A lot that goes into events, I would love to make a video and like more in depth of what actually goes on to doing an event of this magnitude. Um, you shouldn't say that because they're going to be saying, yeah, do that, Catherine. We want to see numbers and charts. <laughs> we ain't got time for that shit. Let's just move on. But yeah. On um, to the next question. Just they, so they you get guys it. If they're know. part of the Ace family, if they're part of the Ace family, they know what it is. Lies, motherfucker. Because I know that they were selling their merch, their overpriced jerseys, and I also know that they got a percentage of the tickets. So it's like, all proceeds supposed to go to charity. It's all for charity. But it sounds like to me, y'all pocketed probably damn near a million dollars. Allegedly. So I decided, you know what? They're having another one. Fast forward 10 months later, now it's 10 months, they're having another one. And I decided, you know what? You know what, bitch? I ain't got shit to do. I don't have a fucking life. I'm running out of fucking content. Let me just do this shit. Let me just show up, come through, pay $300 for a damn plane ticket, pay $800 for a fucking Airbnb for three, four days, and pay $91 for a fucking ticket. Yes, you heard correctly. The ticket was actually, set. my ticket was 75 because I bought them bitches right when they were on sale because my ass was staying up. I bought them shits right when they were on sale, and then I ended up falling asleep, and then them shits were basically not on sale anymore. So them shits went from being $60 for a seat in the back to like $70. So I paid $70 for a seat all the way in the fucking back. And I ended up, I, that shit ended up going to 91 because of a convenient fee, apparently, which is so fucking weird. Anyways, in total, the ticket went from $75 to $91, and I will be going with a friend. I will be going with another YouTuber, just in case I don't get jumped. But I know some of y'all are thinking, Choice, what if they recognize you? What if they recognize you? Oh my god, if they see you, they're gonna kick you out. Oh my god, they see your name on the list, they're gonna kick you out. Here's a twist, bitch. My real first name is a Choice. So, they're not even going to know I'm there. And another thing, I'm going to be going, oh, that's my food, by the way. I'm going to be going in the skies. In the skies, motherfucker, in the skies. Now, I'm about to go put on my disguise, and I want y'all to be 100% honest with me. Can you recognize me? Mm. Hey bro, what's up? Hey Ace Family! So yes, this is my disguise. Y'all can't recognize me, right? It's almost as if y'all don't even see me. If y'all didn't see me in public, would y'all be like, oh shit, that's Choice TV. Nope, you'd be like, nope, that's some fat ass grandma. So yeah, this is my disguise. They won't even recognize me. This is the wig. I got this bitch on Amazon. Should I have to bang a little bit lower? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Fuck. I look like a fucking soccer mom. With two jobs. Let me stop. So, yeah. Ugh. This is my disguise. And, you know, <laughs> they won't even know I'm there. And plus, it's at the Staples Center. So, I'm doubt they're even going to rec fucking recognize me. But, the reason why I'm not going to course dress up as me is because it's one of those things where a lot of the Ace Family fans who hate me love to keep up with my shit to keep up with the tea but still subscribe to them so basically I already know someone's gonna recognize me and be like oh my god Trace TV Ace Family kick him out no not having that in my Jeffree Star voice in my in my Jeffree Star voice not today baby not today baby not today baby so now I'm going to, I got my food by the way, I'm going to eat that shit later in my Uber. So I'm about to go, I'm about to go meet up with another YouTuber. It's not going to be like a strategic vlog, but I got my phone right here. I'm going to be capturing everything. It's not going to be like a good quality fucking um, what you gonna call it, Roman Atwood type vlog with drone shots and shit, but it's gonna be like a behind the scenes and shit, because I'm terrible at fucking vlogging and I'm socially fucking awkward, so I don't know if that's gonna work. But now I wanna call one of my friends who I didn't tell, I didn't tell her and I didn't tell one of my other friends, because I didn't want, you know, I don't want them to be like, oh no, don't do it, don't do it, you know, manifest, you know, all the things that can go wrong, so I'm gonna tell them now that I'm about to go. 
you're going to be very surprised. Oh, yeah, contacted you? So basically, I'm in LA. Why? I'm going to the Ace Family charity basketball event in person. Fucking choice. Choice. Here's my disguise. Tell me if you recognize me. <laughs> I'm filming by the way too. I'm filming a little hey guys I'm about to head out and your screen recorded right now. Say Trace. hey Trace, I don't want no part of it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I paid ninety-one dollars for a ticket because I want to go in person to review it. <laughs> I know! Oh my god, those money hungry bitches. I was so fucking You're gonna annoyed. call your bank break, it's <laughs> Yeah, mark it off as fraud. Mark it off as fraud. <laughs> That's what I'm about to do. But anyways, um, I'm going to eat this shit off camera. And I'm going to catch y'all at the charity. basketball event. So what's good guys? Um, I'm here with Nickelodeon. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. He is a um he's my he's, animator. He's my um bodyguard slash um <laughs> um um su supporting friend slash, slash entourage slash entourage <laughs> slash just in case nigga try to jump me he gonna jump in the front of me so I can run because you know I got on my running shoes the Hirachis press the Hirachis. Hirachis so when I'm ready to run you are a fool bro <laughs> I'm just you getting warmed up you, 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 got, you, got, you got a good angle no really? yeah mm. good angle <laughs> oh, I'm really man. bad at this vlogging shit because I'm so fucking awkward. <laughs> I don't know what to do. This is why like, I don't see how people do this shit every day. Bro. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. This... Um, Chico, how does my wig look? Your wig looks. He's <laughs> so fucking loud. I'm always loud, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, how Your... does this. Is it straight? Is it crooked? Can you... Your wig looks straight. Oh my god, I can't talk low. Listen, okay. I don't want to know what's with the wig. The, back, the, the background is loud. I'm trying to talk That's over the it. point of the wig. No one's supposed to know. Your wig looks straight. I hope you can hear me. Because uh, he told me shut up. But uh, it does it's, not look my realistic bad. Sorry. because you're black. You're black. And so I can't, I, I can't be Afro-Latino. <laughs> I can't be Indian or some shit. <laughs> I can't have Indian in my family or some shit. Potentially, you could be. But at the same time, realistically, thinking logically... It looks like a wig because you're black. But it's just straight. It's on straight. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep walking. I don't know him, y'all. I don't know him. Wow, so much attention. Yeah. No, no, no. He, was, he left because he didn't know okay, where he was okay. at. He just left. But yeah, this is it. Like, it just wraps around here. <laughs> bro, how, how, these how, this, this? how these niggas have these many fans, bro? Okay, listen, we're a part of the fan base. Oh, you're yeah. coming here. I, I love coming here to support them. I love them. Yeah. I, I would die for them. <laughs> we'll be back right after the sponsored video. Bills, 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 bills. Time to pay my bills. Anyways, guys, this video is sponsored by Car Marshall. If you guys are looking to buy a car nearby your area, click the link in my description down below. And from there, you basically just type in your zip code and it'll connect you to nearby sellers. You shop for a car, Car Marshall negotiates. Click my link in the description down below, check it out, and you might find a car that's reasonable and reasonably priced and great for you. Check it out. Nobody can tell that it's a wig. Who said they can't? Okay. <laughs> you're a hater. You're, you're, you're hating. You're... Hey. Honestly, I'm gonna like do narration throughout it. Look, niggas will believe it if you tell them you're, you, that thing. you're young jock. If you say you're young jock, they'll, they'll buy it. Oh shit, we could probably get free food if I tell them I'm young jock. Tell them you're young jock, see what happens. Oh, shit, okay. Cause you really do look like young jock, dead ass. Everybody niggas be like, that bitch. Oh, he's racist. He said, he said I can't do this, and it's only because I'm black. 
Got a Everyone ticket in this so bitch. Extra, ticket in this bitch. That's, that's we why. We in here. Oh my God. We that's, in here. That's why. We in here. That's why certain, a lot of white people are racist. Don't get me wrong. Mm, I smell chicken. <laughs> I smell, I smell like some type of garbage. Hi, I'm Lil Mac. Go, go check out my channel. Lil Mac is lit. I do rap freestyling. So, you, wait, you, so you ready to see the Ace Family? Yeah. Who are you rooting for? Um, Ace Family. Who's your favorite out of the Ace Family? The babies. Oh my god. What about Austin? Uh, yeah. Austin and Captain, I love them both. She had to think about that though. <laughs> Alright, bye. Nice meeting you. She was adorable. I'm so fucking fake, y'all. I'm so good at acting. <laughs> Ooh, free napkins, free mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, Chogi, can you help me like put some of these forks in my backpack? Okay. I I do remember seeing you do that in a video before. Yeah. Of course, I got to. I have really there. big hands. I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't have a lot of forks. Have, can, oh, your backpack. Yeah, my backpack. My backpack. You are so extra, bro. So extra. <laughs> Is it, can you vlog it for me? You're so extra, bro. Put <laughs> some, some more. Put some more. Put some more. <laughs> so extra, bro. What is wrong with you? What is going on in your mind? <laughs> what else? What else do you need? Oh, uh, oh, I need more mustard. Can you put my backpack for me? <laughs> <laughs> He's so extra right. Oh, <laughs> make a scene, Chogi. Chogi, how dare oh, you? Fuck, what's your name again? Chi <laughs> what's your name? Chigo. Chigo. Okay, we're good. Is, is he extra or what? Oh yeah. You're right? Okay. Alright. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys are vlogging for the Ace Family event, right? Yes. Aren't you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm Definitely so ready. Back. You're here for Ace Family? Yes. Everybody Who's your favorite? Um, Austin. I would say Austin. Austin. I'm here for L. L? I would say okay. Austin. Austin. <laughs> yes. he's, he's hilarious. Yeah. He's it's hilarious, it's real. Family goals. That is family goals. It's like realistic. To like, it's like crazy to see them right there. Like. It is. Can't wait for him to come out. Follow your boy, nigga. Wait, Kyra, what? K A Y A T U R O B. Hey, our boy. It's family. It's family. Gang, gang. Oh, this is right here. Told you. It's twice what you said. I was thinking about the jersey. Twice what you said. They're charging $80. Twice what you said. I knew 40 is too close to reasonable. Yeah. Oh, the, the fucking hoodies are fifty dollars. The t-shirts are twenty-five. The um, the hats are twenty. Oh my god. How is a hoodie less than a jersey? First of all, no, no, no. Here's the real question: Why the fuck are they charging five dollars for a fucking plastic wristband? Bro, why is a t-shirt the only? Oh, well, why are these the no, only? No, no, no. First of all, wristbands, wristbands are supposed to be sixty-five cents. Damn, I don't even. I don't know about wristbands. They're supposed but, to be the little ri the rubber things that we used to have in elementary schools. Yeah. They're supposed to be like 65 cents. You usually get like a whole jar of them at the gas station for like I think most things here are reasonably priced except for these two. Um, these two are ridiculous. Every everything else I guess, is reasonable. I, I mean, I guess, but I just don't understand why people are trying to pay, they're charging $8. That's for, what I'm saying. These two are the only ones that are extra. Honestly. But hey, look at their delusional parents buying their shit with the delusional children. And, and we've seen multiple people inside wearing the jerseys. Right. They're probably caught right here for $80. After Charity, huh? <laughs> Charity? You be drinking them drinks? Yeah, they're good for you. Nasty, though. Yeah, but it helps me lick with my weight and stuff. Shut up. Stop it. We erased that was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you, no. You know you captain. Stop dude, it. These are good for you, okay? All right, yeah. Get, get your nasty-ass routine and we'll go back to that. Disgusting pretzel joint, and I'll get some free water. Bro, you hold up. You fucking turn this shit around. I have
as long as I'm supporting the Ace, <laughs> Dear Lord, oh my God, Brent is doing the first and shit. <laughs> you are so stupid, bro. You are so stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, and hey. Supporting her. Hey, do you, do you, you like his hairdo? Yeah, that's nice. Right? Tell me he don't like look like Young Jock. I had a feeling she was gonna say that. <laughs> I had a feeling he was gonna say. She was gonna say. That. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Okay, so I'm a. I'm gonna go with you. We can, yeah. All right, so I'm trying to God, Look at the capacity. Where? Oh, wait, excuse me. Excuse me, do you guys want to be my vlog? Excuse me. Sure. Are you guys trying to see the Ace Spam Yes. See, it's just taking them out. Oh, yeah. oh okay. okay. But yeah, you guys got What's here very channel? early. Um, It is not up yet. I'm oh, new. Okay. But. Me too. I've been one day. lately, but. Yeah, it's so I hard. I know, it's so hard to edit. I know, and there's so much like like fake stuff going on, and just like uh, it's like it makes you lose motivation. But one day, one day you guys will see me. So yeah. see you one day. Yo yo. So let me just start by saying that there's a lot of things that a lot of you guys don't see behind the scenes. If you guys were there, if you're a parent that was there, I'm going to break down every single thing for y'all. Long story short, each time you have a basketball event, and they did a lot of shady things to get people to attend. For one, a lot of people were upset that they had to pay $6 just to watch the live stream. Yes, you had to watch the live stream. Not on YouTube, but on a different site. And you had to pay $6 to watch it. A lot of people were upset and were like, oh my god, I don't want to pay $6 for my child to watch a live stream. That's ridiculous. That's odd. That's weird. We want to support you, but we don't want to pay $6 for a live stream. So they said, okay, you know what? They decided to say in one of their recent videos, guys, guys, this is, mind you, this is literally two days before the event. They said, guys, if you buy a ticket to the event and you come to the event, or if you buy a live stream ticket and you watch the live stream, you're inserted in a chance to win a Range Rover. Ow. 
we're back at it again. So now we want to give away another car in return for all the love and all the support we've been receiving for this upcoming event. All right, Ace family, listen very closely. The only way this is going to work is if you got a ticket to the event for this Saturday and you're coming, or you got a virtual ticket, meaning you have access to watching it on pay-per-view. If you were unable to get a ticket to actually come to the event, you still have an opportunity to get this car by getting your virtual ticket through pay-per-view. Ace family, you still have three days to get your virtual ticket to watch live on pay-per-view. All you gotta do is click the link down in the description and get your virtual ticket now. Ace family, we're giving away this brand new car. Oh, I can't wait to give it away. A Range Rover giveaway, my nigga. Are you fucking serious? Oh, child. Joanne the Scammer is shook. In my opinion, matter of fact, isn't that shit fucking illegal? That shit has to be fucking illegal. It's the fact that y'all sitting up here saying that you're gonna give a give, you're gonna give, you're gonna give away a Range Rover if you buy a ticket to the event, or if you buy a ticket to the live stream. I'm sorry, my loves, but that's not a giveaway. That is a raffle. When history repeats itself. They pulled this same stunt two years ago with a Jeep where they told their fans to buy a hat in order to in order to get a chance of winning a Jeep. They told all their fans to buy a hat and that they would have a chance of winning a Jeep. Two years ago. And now they're back at it again doing the same shit. See what happens when you don't know your history? When you don't know your history and you don't know the history of the shit that you've done, you end up repeating it. Mm. That's one of the useful bullshit that they taught me in school. But let me just start by saying that there's also more that happened behind the scenes. So in this clip right here. You can see the Ace Army's manager. I believe that's the Ace Army's manager. He's basically telling people, hey guys, before we start the game, and he, he did this four times when I was there. Mind you, this is me being there. He said, before each quarter, he said, guys, if you guys want a chance to win $10,000, all you guys got to do is tweet out your cash, your cash app name and also tweet out hashtag AceFam. You see what they're doing here? They were basically trying to trend the internet. They were trying to trend Twitter. And they succeeded because they were number one trending in the USA. So as you can see in this clip, you see everybody taking out their phones. You see everybody's flashes out. Everybody wants to win $10,000. Meanwhile, ain't no money, bitch. Ain't no money. And people think that they about to win money. So then he did it a second time. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, he really did it. He really did it. That's, that's very weird. That's very weird. Because they want to give it to someone they know. Right. They, they want to give it to someone they know. They literally, he literally, it was like, it was like five seconds. You still want to come down? All right, we have right. to go for it. Right, it's like, damn, bitch, give me time to walk down these long ass stairs. Look at these places, bro. Right, like, like <laughs> no, it's supposed to take you at least six minutes to get down there. Right. Why not call this? Why yeah. not call this? Why not, exactly. Why not, why not say their Twitter handle? She, she could be in the restaurant. Why not say this? Well, why not yeah. say over oh, the end or email you? Yeah. It's fixed. It's ready, bro. They needed a third time. Exactly. He's going to win $10,000. He's going to win $10,000. A friend of a family member. Hold on, hold on. He's going to win $10,000. $10,000? What was that? He's going to win $10,000. And then you're gonna get ready to tweet, and then somebody's gonna win it. Live stream, where you at? Live stream, be ready. This is everybody. All right, run. They're trying to make a trend on Twitter. Right? That's exactly what That's awesome. smart. They're trying to make a trend. Tweet your hashtag at what hashtag? Eight years ago, you used to tweet hashtag Ace Family. All right, there it is. Hashtag Ace Family. You ready? So basically, they want their self to trend on Twitter. So since they're so on Twitter, let's go. This is a little bit more PR, more publicity. And then a fourth. <laughs> All right, roll it. Let's go. Woo. Bro, Chris almost made that, bro. That shit hit the rim with his suit on. Get on Twitter. Yeah, I'm watching right now. So Get on Twitter. <laughs> this nigga could literally be in the league, bro. Actually, I think it's trash. All right, here we go. Cash bear. Get ready for that cash bear. This is real money. This is actually $10,000. Psych. All right, let's get it. $10,000 Monopoly money. All right, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Come help me pick one. This is $10,000 cash bear. Help me pick one. Trending. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Janelle McBride! Where you at, Janelle? <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did Janelle didn't show up? Janelle McBride? <laughs> Janelle Yeah, we're looking at her phone that was off. Like, oh, uh, Janelle didn't show up. She was thinking. She just lost 10,000. I'm sorry, Janelle. Oh. And each time he kept saying, Oh, right there, oh, right there. <laughs> and then Austin made up a name, Janelle McBright. And I'm like, Who the fuck names our kid Janelle McBright? And then you see him say, Samantha Mills. I'm just like, Can we be honest here? Can we be honest that a lot of these sound like fake names? For one, the big screen didn't even show the faces of the people that, that won. Two, he didn't scream their Instagram handles. Three, the fact that you're just screaming their names out and then saying, oh, you're not going to claim your prize? No? All right, moving right along. Meanwhile, there's literally like fucking 12 flight of stairs. This is ridiculous. Anyways, moving right along. The game alone also looked very rigged. Take it from somebody who was there in, in person, seeing with my own eyes, and not just with my own eyes, baby. I got some receipts. That shit looked very rigged. For one, look at how Austin was playing. Y'all. It's so clear. Oh my god. And the, ref the referee didn't say anything. So basically, if you guys didn't know, if you guys are familiar with the game basketball, you're not supposed to step out of the perimeter of the court. If you step out, that's a foul and the team gets the ball. 
And notice how the crowd was like, oh, and the, the referees didn't say anything. And there's two of them, one to the left and one to the right. And none of them said anything, but the crowd noticed. As you can see, Austin literally fouled and stepped out of bounds. And nobody said anything. There's a referee right next to him, and nobody said anything. He even hesitated before he even threw the ball. I feel like that this was obviously purposely rigged for Austin to win. And then another thing, Chris Brown gave me really, really odd energy. Because if you notice Chris Brown, his mannerism is a little bit off. He's like waving to himself. He's not even taking the mic saying hello, thank you for coming. He didn't say anything at all throughout the entire event. He did talk at the end of a, at the end of the event. And you know what he talked? In case you guys didn't know, Chris Brown's album just came out. Literally the day of the fucking basketball event. So Austin yells, all right, shout out to Chris Brown. Make sure I get his album. And then he passed the mic to Chris Brown and just like kept walking. The fact that y'all came out means so much to me and my family. I appreciate every single one of you. Hey, Z.B. Hey, tell them, tell them what just came out, Chris. Tell them that everybody got to get that new album. Chris Brown kind of run me the wrong way a little bit. I was like, hmm, behind the scenes tension? I don't fucking know, but that was a little bit weird how Chris Brown never said nothing throughout the whole game. And he's a fucking headliner. He's a whole headliner, and he didn't say anything, never grabbed the mic. So that was a little bit weird. And not only that, Y'all will not believe who they gave the $100,000 to. The million dollar question that a lot of you guys might be wondering. Well, what did they do with the $100,000? Who did they give the $100,000 to? They decided to give the $100,000 to, to a nonprofit organization called The Painting Turtle. And you know who, who, who works for this organization? Austin's dad. Austin's dad works for this company. He's been with them for the past 10 years. You can Google it. He actually has been working with them. I believe he's a manager over there. And I'm not going to lie. It's a very good organization. It's basically an organization slash camp where we have health issues and kids who have mental disorders also attend this camp and this organization. So I'm like, you know what? It's a cool organization. But at the same time, it's not a charity. It's an organization, but it's not a charity. So basically, you gave a nice little donation to your father and his company that he works for. Now, some of y'all might be saying, well, that's nice. That's still nice. Yeah, it's still nice, but Austin couldn't write his dad $100,000 checks on the side. You had to throw a whole charity basketball event, profit more off the actual charity like you did last year, sell your merch, make people pay for the live stream, And you had to do all this just to write your dad a hundred thousand dollar check. Meanwhile, Austin and Catherine are both millionaires. <laughs> so peep that part, y'all peep that part that, that y'all just saw. So basically, music was playing, and then all of out of nowhere, Austin was like, "Wait, wait, 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 y'all, 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 he's getting on the mic." Isn't Cherry the face of this man? Okay, y'all, y'all gonna understand what I mean later. But basically. Austin almost forgot to give the check and announce the charity. They bought out the trophy and everything, and he was about to close out the game. But he literally almost forgot to say who the charity, who's giving the charity to, and he forgot to bring out the big ass check. Crazy, right? Hmm. We had a good time, but the best part about this event was that it was charity. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
not want to do. We do not be able to write this check here for a hundred thousand dollars to uh, an organization that is dear to my heart. I worked there for ten years. This organization is a non-profit organization for kids with chronic illnesses and life-threatening mental conditions. Dun, dun, dun. The Painted Turtle is local, and this is, is going to send a lot of gifts to Ken. Bro, I so told thank you. Thank all of you, thank you. 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 It took this for you to write him a hundred thousand dollar check. Okay, this is a little bit fishy. This is a little bit fishy, and I don't really trust the situation. And just like Austin did the last time, he gave the money to somebody he knew before. Because in case you guys didn't know, he did a smaller event at like a at, a, at like a public high school, high school basketball court, and he invited a whole bunch of YouTubers, and he was willing to give fifty k to any YouTuber that were able to make half court shots, and he ended up giving. 50k to his hometown friend. It was actually 100k. So basically, he threw a basketball event in a high school, and he invited only YouTubers and celebrities. Nick Cannon was there. YB Almighty J was there. So many people like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and even DDG. So he said, if you could shoot 10 half court shots in a row, you would win 100k. And he ended up giving it to one of his friends who wasn't even a contestant on the list. His friend popped up out of nowhere because four hours passed and no one was able to shoot it. So he gave his friend a honey K. A little suspect, right? But that's a story within itself. Um, watch this video right here if you want to go um, understand the whole story. It's a pretty crazy story. So check out that video. So he pulled the same fuck shit he did last time. He gave the money to somebody he knows. And... Honestly, that's conflict of interest. So at this point, I'm just like, so what was the point of all this? Why didn't you announce beforehand that the charity was for your, your dad's company that he works for? Man, these niggas about to pull up to H&R Block like charity. Write that off my taxes. Because believe it or not, a lot of YouTubers owe millions. Not just YouTubers, but also celebrities. A lot of celebrities also have instances where they owe a lot of money through, like, to taxes and they're not able to pay. So they have to do things like give to charity. Why do you think people like fucking Cardi B love to brag about giving to charity? Why do you think people like Offset give to charity? Why do you think people like Jennifer Lopez constantly give to charity? Sometimes it might be out of the kindness of their hearts, but a lot of times... It's for a write-off so that their taxes and how much they owe to the IRS can go down and down. So let's be honest. This is a little bit fishy and it's a little bit fucked up and I cannot believe that no one said anything. Fun fact, I walked around interviewing people and I was like... Oh, let me ask you a question. What do you guys think of that man? It was actually like something. I wish they would have got more in our section though. I really do. I was there for Chris Brown, though. Oh, yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. That's the only person I cared about. That's the only person I cared about. It was kind of like weird, like how they only showed up to people who were like lower. Yeah, yeah. It's like, damn, like, we up here too. Like, we up here too. Right? Like, no one at the top got a chance to like win the money. Yeah. Plus, isn't it weird that they never bought up the Range Rover? Did you hear about the Range Rover giveaway? Yeah. So basically, they said that if you bought a ticket to the event, it came, or if you bought a live stream ticket, for six dollars and watch live stream, you win a Range Rover. They doing it for the cloud. Now you know America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah. Um, what's, thanks, what's your TV channel? Right? Um, it's Choice TV. I'm gonna get that right quick. Okay. I'm doing a review on the event. What did you guys think of the event? You thought it was foo foo? I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, I thought. <laughs> I thought it was that. <laughs> All right. Well, and overall, what do you think about, um, like, overall, do you feel like it was worth the money? Yes. Okay. Were well, you team um, Breezy or teammates? Teammates. Teammates? Okay. And did you guys think it was a little bit weird how you forgot to bring up the um, giveaway about the Range Rover? Did you guys watch that video? Yeah. I was like, damn, I wanted a new car. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that a little weird? I thought it was weird how he almost forgot about the, the charity. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ragged? 
Did y'all hear what that boy just said? I'm gonna play that again. So weird. So yeah, we about to head out. We about to go the fuck home. And yeah, it was nice. yeah, it was thank you for coming here. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> wait, wait. Yes. I was there too. I'm reviewing it in person. No one knows I'm here. How the fuck y'all recognize me? From a distance. Oh. Oh. That's crazy. Y'all can still recognize this from a distance. Oh, yeah. But he's just a body cut. Oh my god. What are your names? Ivy, Kaylee, Amber. Amber, y'all are in my vlog. I'm coming tomorrow night. Bye. Take care, guys. <laughs> Awkward. Oh my god, this shit. Was it worth it? Yes, awesome. And my friends them. are good. They're good people. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, they're amazing people. Especially the fact that they gave like the sick girl 100k to yeah, the it's dad's a, um, organization. I think it's always awesome uh, to give back, especially when you're in a position to give back. But you know, either way, anybody can always give. Right, especially because it's all for charity. A thousand, no, yeah, it's a thousand percent correct. I think it's cool, like I said, it's awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. Push. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. I want to review on the event. Y'all went to the H-Pound event, right? Yeah, yeah. What did y'all think of the event? Y'all feel like it was worth it? Oh, yeah, it was definitely worth it. They gave a good show. You know what I'm saying? We might come back and get some more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Yeah, wait. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, um, follow her, Keisha Kaylee on YouTube. Yeah. You, you, you have a few more questions, all right? Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's about it. That's it? Thank all you. Of her. Thank all you. right, take care, bro. All right, bye. Oh, shit. I fucking know them. I know them. I talked mad shit about both of them. No I way. Even, I didn't even realize it was them. Who are they? Oh, dear God. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Oh, dear God. Nobody suspected a thing. Some people did have their confusions and their assumptions, as you can see in this clip right here. But other than that, most people were pretty into it. And it's crazy how nobody notices anything or said anything. And it's really fucked up and it's really sad that people like this actually exist. After the event was over, I was literally sitting, sitting over here like... I was literally just numb after the event. Like, how can people do fuck shit like this and like not get called out for it? Or how, how, how do they of all people have a following and they're doing grimy ass shit that nobody notices or is even calling out? So that was just very, very weird to me. I'm actually flabbergasted that even the adults were fooled. But hey, it is what it is. People still gonna support them, and they're the Ace family. They get away with any fucking thing. And then let's talk about how James Charles' ugly ass was out here singing the national anthem. Of all people, they got James Charles to sing the national anthem. Whoop 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 Yeah 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 I got no rules I got no uh. Background singers, how embarrassing.
What do you think about the national anthem? Um, it was pretty mediocre, in my opinion. It was awful. I mean, <laughs> like, and then he really needed two background vocalists. I feel That's like that's so weird. I've never seen that before. Bitch, y'all would've better off calling me for that shit. I don't really have anything to say, but James Charles did a fucking horrendous job. He needed two background vocalists just to sound good. And he still sounded terrible. How did the background vocalist overpower you and sound better than you? Mm. That was ridiculous. James Charles should have not been the one singing the national anthem. Y'all couldn't have Queen sing that shit? And then let's talk about Little Plump. Because in case you guys didn't know, Little Plump performed. And... His performance was the most trashest, most mediocre performance I've ever seen in my entire life. The whole entire crowd was dead. Nobody cared for Little Plump. That shit was trash. He was literally skipping around performing. I'm like, fuck is this? It's probably about cheap as fuck. They must have invested a lot of money for Little Pump to come because they didn't get him no nice little stage. They didn't get him background dancers. They didn't get him no smoke screens. They didn't get him no green screen. They didn't get him nothing. I'm like, they basically just handed this nigga a mic and said, all right, go ahead, kill it. That performance was trash and very mediocre. And throughout the whole thing, honestly, I tried to go in with, with, with an open mind and it was just boring. Like, it just wasn't interesting. Like, the whole time I was there, I was just like, oh my god. An hour in, I was ready to go. I was like, oh my god, can y'all hurry up and fucking scam me so I can leave? I was just flabbergasted at how boring it was. And not only that, they tried to kill mad time. Austin was over here giving these long ass speeches. And then they had this corny ass boy boy group do this these, do these stupid ass corny ass kids bop dances. And I'm like, oh my god, who the fuck invited the, the, the cast of Shake It Up here? I can't. Overall, in my opinion, and this is me being unbiased, the overall the overall show is just a it's a solid four. It could have been a five if they were actually giving away fucking money, but there was no money and there was no announcement for the Range Rover giveaway that they claimed was coming. So yeah, that's my take on the whole situation. You damn right I wasted my money to go to LA. You damn right I wasted my money to go to the Ace Miami Charity charity event. Cause you wanna know something, bitch? This is a tax write-off for me. I could show this to my tax agent and they could write this off as my taxes because YouTube is my job, bitch. And I can get my money back. I should mark that shit off as far as my account, but you know what? I'd rather just write it off as a tax write-off, okay? So this is tax deductible, motherfucker, okay? So yeah, if you're new to my channel. If you guys are waiting for this video, mm. thank you, baby. I don't know what to say. I just got off my fucking plane. I'm exhausted. I'm eating my light little midnight snack. And I'm going to take my ass to fuck to sleep. And yeah, I'm going to be back on my constant uploads. Mm. Let me know what videos I want to see next. Yeah, that's that. I got scammed. Try to stop this bitch. I have to be here to get some respiracy. 
Say no one loves you more than me, and no one ever will. No one ever will. No matter how I think we grow, you always seem to let me know it ain't working, it ain't working, it ain't working. And when I try to walk away, you hurt yourself to make me stay. This is crazy. This is crazy. There for me, there for me. I want you care for me, care for me, care for me. I want you die for me, die for me, die for me. I want you care for me, care for me, care for me, yeah. Okay. You're welcome for the show. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what's so interesting next. And yeah, that's that. Take care.